Hey, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. In today's episode on the channel, we're doing another unboxing. And uh, I got the Arma Creighton uh, version 4 6S, brand new in the box. We're gonna do an unboxing and a first run. Show you guys what it's all about and what, you, what, what to expect if you wanna buy one, what you have to do when you op open the box and everything to get it running. Let me flip you guys around and show you what it's all about. Well, here we go, guys. Let's get started on this unboxing. So it's the Arma Creighton, uh, the blue and black version, and it's the brand new version 4, and it can run up to 6S, and the box says it does 60 plus miles per hour. This is a 1 8 brushless speed monster truck. Congrats to Arma on 10 years of blasting. I give Arma major props. They're making some good stuff. It's getting better and better all the time. And a big shout out to Arma for, for constantly improving their products and making good ready to runs. Let's see what this thing's all about here, guys. Creighton 6S 1 8 scale four wheel drive electric speed monster truck. It comes with the remote and receiver. Comes with a 15 kilogram metal geared servo, the BLX 185 waterproof ESC that can run 4S or 6S, the BLX 2050 KV brushless motor, IC5 connectors fitted. I'll be changing those out to XT90s because that's what my batteries have. There's nothing wrong with that connector there if you, if you guys have batteries like that, but I don't have any batteries with those connectors. It's ready to run, it's waterproof, has metal gears, 6S capable, brushless system, and a two year warranty. Things you'll have to provide is four AA batteries, a LiPo safe bag, a LiPo charger, and two LiPo batteries. Let's see what other features and stuff it has, guys. Creighton, 6S, I got the blue and black version. That's what the red one looks like up there. Let's see what kind of new features they got going on here. Uh, easy access center diff and motor. A body print style in red and black or blue and black. Ultra detailed decals, multi split spoke wheels, and copperhead two tires. Oh, and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about those copperhead two tires. Um, big shout out to Rich Duper Bash. He's the one that made me want this truck. Super, super bad. I already liked Arma's stuff, but when I saw him run this thing, I had to have it. Big shout out to you, Duper Bash. I watch all your videos. You do a great job, man. Thanks for the content. Uh, hub nut O rings and a center brace for maximum durability. All right, guys, let's get this thing cracked open and see what it's all about. Got gotcha. your bag with your instructions and your tools and spare parts, your high speed gear. Some extra stickers and a upgrade chart. Here's the remote. Let's see how it looks. Kind of plain and cheesy, but it gets the job done if you don't have one. I got my, uh, my, uh, remote that'll do up to 20 cars. I'll probably eventually switch this over to that remote. Wow, guys, look at that truck. That thing is nice. Let's get it out of there. Guys, I love this Creighton. 
This sucker is nice, man. Big shout out to Arma for all the innovation. That company is great. When they find something has a problem with it, they fix it. They make it better. Every, every new version that comes out has issues fixed and gets better and better. Take the body off. Look at that nice body, guys. The blue and black, I love it. Creighton. This is gonna be a huge asset to the channel. Like I said, big shout out to Arma. Thank you for all you do in the RC car world. You're making stuff great. Got this center brace here to keep from crushing into stuff and it'll probably help support the body more. Got the Copperhead two tires. Nice and soft. Already vented. Glued. A nice wing for downforce. Great shocks. Got these IC5s on here. I'll be changing those to the XT90s because that's what all my batteries have. Got the BLX 185 system in it. Got your servo here. Nice center brace. Mud guards to keep from getting mud in there. Your receiver box. Here's where your batteries go. It's got the same battery box as the Outcast. It's a nice truck, guys. Look at that, look at that. Won't stay like that too long. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna get my soldering station set up and uh, solder those XT90s in place of these IC5s. So let me get all that set up and I'll put you back on. All right guys, so I got the first positive cable unsoldered from the old connection. I got the new connection here. And I'm, I use this thing, I put it on this thing while I'm doing it because if you don't, the, the plug can melt and it'll deform it. You keep this thing on it it keeps everything lined up and it uh, conducts less of the heat so it don't melt as bad so now I want to just take my pair of pliers like that to hold it jam this wire on the XT90 just like that Get my other pair of pliers to hold my wire like that. Uh, I gotta find my solder. I got my my solder ready here, rosin core wire solder. I put my heat shrink on the wire. And I also got this XT90 in on there. You want to put all that stuff on before you solder. Now I want to jam that into that hole like that. Put my pliers right there somewhere. So I have a lifted work area. Set that on there like that. Okay, here we go guys. We're gonna solder this real quick. I don't think I actually even need that pair of green pliers. Just need to heat this up. Get it good and hot. Hold the soldering iron on there. 
And the good thing is, since I unsoldered it from the old connection, there's already solder on the wire. So once it starts getting hot, it's going to start to stick. And I can come in with some of this new solder on top of it, and it'll really stick. Get it good and hot. Get your solder ready. Once it's starting to melt, There we go, it's starting to get hot. Feed some of that new solder in. I think that got it guys. That definitely got that side good. That's a good solder right there. So now the positive wire's done. Now I come back over here to this cable that I already got one off of. And now I got the negative. So now I gotta set this off to the side and unsolder this connection. Pliers on there to hold stuff out of the way. There we go. Now I should be able to unsolder it. Well, I need these pliers a little bit closer. There we go. Now I can hold down on this and push away on this. And as it gets hot, Pop loose of there. There we go, guys. It's starting to melt. Again, on this one, I'm trying to unsolder it so I can hook it to the new connection. There we go. There we go. That's it, guys. It's off of there. So here's the old connection. Don't need that one anymore. Take these off. Take this off of here. Now, that was the negative wire we just undone. So now, take that out of there. We don't need that anymore. Now we need our new piece of shrink wrap. Well, actually, this has to go through here, like so. And then you need this on here, the shrink wrap. It helps make stuff waterproof. This set of pliers on here, so that'll set still. 
these pliers on here. Hold the heat on this. Get it good and hot. Start feeding in some new solder. Feed in that new solder, get a good weld on there. You gotta get it good and hot. Let off and blow on it so it'll harden. I think that one is done. Yep. Soldered up tight. Now all we have to do is push this shrink wrap up around it like that. And like this. Now we take this heat gun. It's for doing uh, heat shrinking and stuff. And these two tubes that I put on here, this shrink wrap, we heat it up. And it shrinks around the wire to keep it sealed and keep it from shorting out. It just protects it and helps keep it waterproof. Get that good and hot and shrink it up around those solders. There we go guys, that's one, all done. All we gotta do now is take this little connector right here, or this little, the back side of the plug, push it up over the shrink wrap, like so. Pop it in place on the back of the plug. Now that's done, that's complete. Take this off of here, so that's one plug done. Now we gotta do the same to this one. Put the heat on right there. As soon as it starts to melt and heat up, then we can pull that wire off of there with these pliers. There we go, got it off of there. Now we can put that one off to the side out of the way for a minute. So we undid the positive. So this wire goes to the positive on this connection. Gotta plug our thing back into it to keep anything from melting. Pliers back on. Get that in position like that. Get our solder ready. Let's get this heated back up. that stays where it needs to be
There we go. Just like that. Get that set in there. Put the heat on it. Get the solder that's already on that wire to start melting. Take it off of there. Blow on it so it cools down and hardens. Pull those pliers. Pull those pliers. And that's it. That side is done. Oh, <laughs> I just forgot my cap and my piece of shrink wrap. So now I got to disconnect it again. All right, guys, so that soldering job got a little bit fiddly again, but here's how it turned out. I turned the camera off and finished it off camera, but here's how the soldering job turned out. I always do the shrink wrap, and the solders are good and tight. You can't pull them apart if you wanted to. I melted that just a little bit. That's no big deal, just for looks, unless you do it bad, and then it can affect something, but I never claimed I was perfect. But it looks good. It's reliable. That's what matters. I'll probably take some zip ties and, and zip tie it up like this. So it's just a little pigtail. Maybe probably run it back under there too. Anyway, guys, let me get some batteries charged up. And, and uh, we'll take this thing out for a blast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, guys, we got the battery in. We got the controller here. I gotta put some some uh, four double A's in the controller. So we'll pop those in. Turn the controller on. Controller's on. Plug in the truck, switch it on, steering's working properly, throttle's good, let's put the body on and take it for a blast. All right, guys, here we go.
and I don't have the the mount on the truck yet to do any onboard footage so that'll be in the next video I won't be able to do any onboard footage on this video just this one here Creighton is nice guys That's it guys, that's the end. That's the end of the video guys, that's the, the end of the Arma Creighton version 4 6S unboxing and first run. It's there behind me, it did great. I don't have a, a mount on the car yet for onboard footage, so the next video I do with this car will have onboard footage of it. But that was just a quick first run and, and the unboxing of it and Introducing it into my collection and showing you guys what it's all about Hopefully you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if if you like the video Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one